One of the biggest challenges for new desktop Linux users is getting used to the user interface. Take the layout of GNOME on an Ubuntu desktop, for example. The layout of it is very different than what you would typically see on a Windows 11 desktop, which is the operating system that most Linux users are switching from. And this is the reason why I feel the layouts or the desktop environments that try to mimic Windows like KDE and XFCE are so good. And there's even themes for those desktop environments to make them look exactly like a Windows desktop for the most severe cases of baby duck syndrome. Now, I think the second biggest issue is getting the applications that you need installed on Linux because the command line can be a little bit intimidating, and that is the problem that Tuxmate is trying to solve. So this is a bulk app installer for Linux, and more specifically for Ubuntu, Debian, Arch, and the rest of the distros that you see here in this drop-down menu. So if you're brand new to Linux, one of the things that you might not know is that each of these distros have different package managers. Well, Ubuntu and Debian both use the apt package manager and Arch uses Pacman. And the commands for those package managers are different. Like if I select a couple of apps here, you can see that this is doing sudo pacman, whereas for Ubuntu, it's going to do the sudo apt install. So remembering those differences can be a real pain point even for longtime Linux users, especially if you're distro hopping. Uh, but with Debian and Ubuntu, even though they use the same package managers, a lot of the packages actually have different names. So if I were to select uh, Steam, for example, under Debian, Steam is called Steam Installer, and under Ubuntu, it's just called Steam. Now, sometimes the package manager will catch this, like if you're trying to install just Steam instead of the Steam installer on Debian, it's probably going to tell you in the error output that you should try installing the Steam installer instead. But using Tuxmate can save you from having to read that error message and then rerun apt again. Now, if you are a Windows power user, or if you've ever had to deploy and maintain a bunch of different Windows machines, then you might notice some similarities between Tuxmate and Ninite, which is a batch installer like Tuxmate, but for programs that you would install on Windows. And something like this makes a whole lot of sense on a Windows machine because, you know, people are usually downloading and installing their programs on Windows from a bunch of different websites instead of just a central repository like we have with the Linux package managers. But there's still advantages to using something like Tuxmate on Linux. The main thing that I like is that with Tuxmate, you can actually tell at a glance what packages it's going to install. If I select a whole bunch of crap here, you can see here and see even better if I click on this preview window, all the different apps that this script is going to install. And you can also download it uh, as a shell script instead of copy and pasting this into your terminal if you don't want to do that. Um, but with Ninai, unfortunately, all you get uh, is an exe. And so you can't really inspect that to see what applications Ninite is going to install until you actually run it. Uh, they do try to give you a little bit of a preview. So when you select a few different applications and then uh, you download your Ninite installer, when you press get your Ninite, it's going to name that exe after the applications that you selected here to download. The problem though is on Windows, I think the character limit for a file is only like 260 characters. I mean, I'm sure you can change in your advanced settings, but obviously most people don't do that. Uh, and then, so practically you can't really see all the apps you're gonna install if you select a bunch. And I think uh, Ninai actually has an internal soft cap of just six applications. So you select six apps, or if you select more than six apps, it's only going to show you the first six that you selected in the installer's name. So Tuxmate lets you preview what you're going to install before you install it. And well, that I think also gives it a better security model. And also the fact that, you know, with Tuxmate, the package integrity, like making sure you actually get the right stuff installed, all of that is being deferred to the package manager to pull in the correct stuff. So it's kind of, you know, time tested and battle tested for the most part, malware really doesn't make its way into official repositories in Linux distributions, at least not mainstream ones. 
So that's potentially better than Ninite's model of just pulling software directly from the publishers of each package. You know, ultimately that means there's more sources that have to be trusted versus just the repo for your Linux distro. And if you can't trust that, then you really can't trust the distro at all. Now, the real benefits of Tuxmate come out when you're using it on an Arch-based distro. And you can see, um, you know, how some of these packages are blocked out, but you switch to Arch and boom, all of a sudden we have all of these extra packages at our disposal. And of course, that's because of access to the Arch user repository. So these programs like uh, Brave or Slack and Zoom, uh, Spotify, you know, those can only be installed from the AUR, or at least that's the option or the only option that's available with Tuxmate right now. I suppose that they could add in support to curl and then install uh, DPKGs or app images. I'm pretty sure that's what they offer for Google Chrome, but as you can see right now, it's only an AUR package option right now because that DPKG or app image functionality hasn't been implemented in Tuxmate yet. Uh, but normally, if you weren't using Tuxmate and you wanted to install these packages from the AUR, you would have to either install an AUR helper or you would have to manually download the files and build them yourself. And that can be a bit of a hassle. I mean, not necessarily for the typical Arch user, they can probably install an AUR helper and be off to the races, no problem. But if you're a catchy OS user or you're using one of these other trendy, just works, Arch-based distros, uh, and you're a beginner to Linux, then you aren't gonna know about the AUR and you probably don't wanna read eight pages of stuff about it before installing the programs that you just want to use. So in Tuxmate, when you're on the Arch selection and you select one or more AUR packages, it's going to prompt you here and ask, do you have an AUR helper? And you can select no, because obviously if you're new to it, you're not gonna have one. And then choose one to install. So we'll just go with yay, that's the recommended. And if we do a preview here of the installation script, you can see it has this big gnarly one-liner. And what this is doing is it's setting up the dependencies for using uh, the AUR. So you need git and you need base devil for that. And then it's going to download yay, and it's going to go ahead and uh, build that package for you. And then it's going to ultimately use yay to download the AUR packages, so I selected the Telegram, Desktop, Slack, Desktop, and Zoom in this case. Tuxmate has a feature to detect packages that are already installed. It has retries built in in case you have a slow or an unreliable internet connection, so it'll retry uh, installing an application if it fails because of that. Uh, there's also support for flat packs and snaps in Tuxmate, which I'm personally not a big fan of, but there's support for it there if you are. Uh, there's also support for parallel installation of apps through Flatpaks. Uh, if you're a Vim user, you'll be happy to know that this web page here uh, supports Vim keys for uh, traversing around it. So I'm using the um, you know HJKL to traverse around in here. And you can use Spacebar to select things. Tuxmate is basically a meta wrapper for multiple package managers. I guess that's the most accurate way to describe it because obviously you've got this little GUI helper to help you with installing packages, but it goes beyond PAMIC or the software store on Ubuntu because this is cross distro. You can select all these different distributions to install packages from. And like I said, if you're familiar with Ninite, then Tuxmate's workflow is gonna be really easy for you to grasp. It can help you I guess kick that learning hump of getting familiar with the terminal or the package manager that ships with your distro even further down the road, which obviously is a double-edged sword here because if and when something breaks in your Linux install, which is bound to happen, uh, then the command line comfort is gonna be what you need to fix it. So, you know, double-edged sword again. And since you can basically change the distro um, from this drop-down menu, and I'm pretty sure you're package selection persists, let me see, Ubuntu. Yeah, more or less, I mean, as long as the packages are available in the repos. Um, so because you can do that, 
I think that this script is a very handy tool to have for distro hoppers because you can just, you know, persistently have these install scripts and download them for all the different distros you want to try out and then run them in a VM or, you know, run them in a, uh, from a USB in a live environment, whatever you want to do. The Tuxmate program is also fully open source and it's self-hostable. So you can deploy Tuxmate with Docker to have an instance of it running for your organization with all of the packages that your employees might want to use on their Linux machines. So if you're starting a company and you want to say big on skipping the purchase of Windows and Office licenses, then Tuxmate could be a great addition to your company's tool set for deploying PCs for your new employees. So tell me what you guys think about Tuxmate in the comments below. Like and share this video to hack the algorithm and check out my online store, Base.Win, if you want to buy my awesome merch or accessories for your phone or laptop. 10% storewide discount when you pay with Monero XMR at checkout. Have a great rest of your day.